I'm going to begin first with an alibi. Um, one of the things that I forgot to mention in the video is that maybe I'm wrong. It is almost impossible to give this guy the sexy sniper pose, which is my most favorite thing to do on a fig. And for that, it makes it very hard for me to figure out what to grade it, to give it a good enough grade for the price point of what it's asking. Um, cause I don't think it has the elbow swivel that, that it's, is required to, uh, make it happen or, 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 or something I, I, or it just, look, I struggle. I'm worried that whatever I'm doing is going to, it's either the, I'm sorry, not the elbow, but the bicep swivel to, to make it happen. You, you, you see what I'm saying? It's yeah. It, it, with soft goods, it becomes very hard to, to do that and another thing as you can see with this just falling off this has become a nightmare of a of a thing to mess around with uh this is why i put it upside down because you know what any which way you mess with this thing it's almost impossible to put it back on it's 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 a mess i just on the verge of giving up messing with that thing because of the way it's designed i hope that miller works does something to improve this because Millerworks, if you're here and you watch this video i'm just letting you know it's frustrating i hope you come up with a better alternative than th than this uh sick toys <laughs> this is for you sir <laughs> greetings folks and welcome back to the channel i'm your host coco smooth the casual collector and in this segment of one top scale military action figures takes i am showcasing Mezco 112 SDCC exclusive Commando Snake Eyes. This one's for you, sickest toys. <laughs> as soon as I saw your comment, I was like, as you command, sir. <laughs> I was so beat from Comic-Con. And I was just like, you know, S people just don't know. SDCC is a pretty big ordeal. My body aches from <laughs> walking. Your boy's not a young guy anymore. So. <laughs> my back, my hips, my thigh, everything hurts. <laughs> but for you, sir, since you are my my loyal viewers, I'm going to make sure you guys get what you want. Um, so, yeah. So, here, yeah, here we go. Uh, I honestly thought that, you know, the others were already going to be reviewing this, but guess not. <laughs> Here's what it looks like in the package, right? Mando, G.I. Joe, yeah. Different than the rest, because normally it would say like uh well, I'll 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 show y'all. Normally it would it would look like this, you know. So the package is clearly different this time around. Kind of wondering how it'd be, you know. Yeah, this sucker sold out quick, like too quick. Um, yeah, here we're doing an unboxing. It comes with what it normally comes with, right? Pose, play, and display. Uh, instructions. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. Um, I even brought old snake eyes here for reference. So we're going to, we're going to compare the two a little bit. All right. All right. As always, Mezco, me and you are opening all of this together. So whatever happens, happens. It's all a surprise. Let's go with, let's stick with the old stuff. The common stuff with Mezco. Stand, traditional, right? Uh, it looks like he has a satchel here. Um, let's take that bad boy out. Look at the accessory together all right come on sir open up a maze of a package okay feels like Gore-Tex uh, I guess this is just to keep its shape makes sense since this is the same bag that he would normally hold his explosives in as a, a commando Right. Here's his, uh, you know what I mean? So makes sense. Right. All right. Yeah. Commando Snake Eyes has always been for me 
my favorite version. Ninja Cool Commando Cooler for me. I didn't need him to be a ninja. I thought Storm Shadow should have been the only ninja. But, you know, look, it looks like it came with all these guns. Uh, looks like, uh, well, let me open it up and, and blast effects. Let's open them up so that you all can see them better. I'm sure it's hard to see them through the clamshell packaging. But yeah, here's the blast effects. Um, hmm. I'll figure out what these are soon enough. I think this is his detonators, and I guess it's a pack that goes somewhere. Mm, I imagine this is what goes inside here. That would just be my guess. Explosives in here, but okay. Anywho, let's uh, get to the real fun stuff. The the weapons, right? Accessories. Yeah, it comes with very much like the classified his uh smoke grenades or whatever frag grenades i don't know what kind of grenades these are concussion what some kind of grenades uh i think these are arm for the arms the um yeah arm yeah probably for his arms right here okay um, some form of communicator, I, I, I imagine, uh, MP5, I think, some, uh, M4, really cool stuff, all mags, you know, with mag, with their own mags and everything, cool, um, all right, we'll, uh, we'll arm old snake people or serpent peepers, <laughs> <laughs> all right so there you go and oh my Eesh, he, he comes with a boatload of weapons and dude i like this mask more I, I i know that a lot of people grew up with the night one because of the, the cartoon the night looking uh mask but yeah it is a win his boots are nice and shiny he's been a Polishing him with kiwi. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Yeah, he's got this kind of like a all black sweater. Really cool. His face mask is really cool. Um, yeah, it looks like he got his fist hands as the default hands for now um yeah let's uh let's check out his well his uzi his mac tens i guess uzis dang his weapons are are kind of big for the hand the handles are huge i hope his hands can <laughs> oh yo um let me let, let me put it in perspective for y'all so y'all understand just how big the handles are uh, th these weapons are uh hang on it's, the handles are kind of oh, unless i'm smoking crack but yo <laughs> the handle here's the handle of a gridiron studios gun uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just the way it was shaped that got me kind of, you know, feeling a certain way. But, okay, let me find another piece. Uh, I'm going to use a, for perspective, guys. This is just simply for perspective, right? Uh, this is from Arsenal of QPUs. Okay. I guess they are roughly the same size. I guess, you know, it's just very, I guess the, the it's more handled than it is. <laughs> Maybe the handles are accurate and the guns are small. Huh? 
or am I smoking the cracks? I think I might be smoking the cracks. Jeez. Well, all right. I'm just kind of, well, these are kind of big, right? <laughs> Jeez. I mean, that's what she said. Anyways. Let's 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 put in some hands. But before we do that, we'll, let, let's show of his hands real quick. Uh, this is gonna be a long video, folks, because obviously, opening and all that stuff. I know you guys were probably wondering whatever happened to the Firefly video, bros. I'm gonna let you know. I was mad. It, it was so, it, it was taking forever to open the pack. I I just had a very grumpy disposition. I turned off that video. I didn't want you guys to see how how moody I was when I was doing that video. Yeah, it's uh, like this, you know, close hands right here. He's got like some chop hands, some grip hands, but like wanting to grip hands and hand, sig hand signal hands and karate chop hands. And I think these are his trigger hands. So I'm gonna use his trigger hands since he's got too many guns. He's gonna have to rock two guns. One for each of you. <laughs> All right, let's take them out. Yeah, take your hands off. All right, here we go. I'm not sure where this is. There's some kind of grappling hook. I don't remember him having one of these, but what else? We'll, we'll figure out how. Uh -huh. Maybe somebody can give me an explanation for that. Because your boy has no idea why. Dang, sick as toys, dude. You hella go. I want it now. <laughs> yes, I must provide. There you go. All right, here we go. So he got his hands with his trigger finger, but no weapons. But we're about to give him some weapons. Uh, only Mezco hands could 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 do this because Mezco hands are very nice and rubbery. I I, I like it. I wish they did. They gave Deathstroke more of these, like instead of just a few. Now I'm not gonna front. This looks, this looks like he's strug he, he's struggling pretty bad with the. Uh, come on. This is your weapon, your primary weapon, bro. You gotta. <laughs> You gotta at least look like you can hold it, right? Some, right? Hey, come on. Ugh, this is not a good look. What I did warn y'all, didn't that? Didn't I tell you all that those handles look kind of huge? <laughs> right. So, look at me. Mesco's the one who made it this big. <laughs> so, let, let, let's give them the. The other one, see if it, jeez, these trigger hands, yo. I was giving y'all props, but dang, like I said, the handles, maybe a little too fat for your boy. Unless I'm looking at the wrong hands, but dude, as far as I know, these are these look like the trigger hands of me. You know what I'm saying? Don't these look like the trigger hands? I'm going to give you a full shot uh uh, body shot video at some point, but for now I'm I'm just trying to focus on so you guys could see kind of how the hand situation is, right? Uh, I guess it ain't it's it's forgivable. It's not hateful, you know, because it, it it you know. Let's see if it can do if this one can struggle to do the two double Mac tans. I'm just calling these weapons whatever. <laughs> like I'm confident I know what they are when in fact mm, when I was a kid I I used to know these as Uzis, not Mac tens, and that's probably the same thing. Uzi. Remember when I first saw these were all in Miami Vice. Used by drug dealers and gangsters. And I, if I if I remember correctly, even the bad guys in Delta Force. 
But yeah, there it goes. Yeah. All right, let's let's I guess put it in the holster, right? Is what he you know, he has two though, but you know we'll just have one holster for these two. Um, let's see here. All right, let's take his Uzi's away. I don't know. Do you guys want me to see me see him put it in my his hands on? I think. Ugh. And of course, in my zeal to keep things orderly, it does not go orderly. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Yeah. Yeah. These are definitely not gripping hands. These are more like. Yeah. Hand signal hands. Um. See here, yeah, in the grip or scratch, ah! <laughs> chop, karate chop, knife hand, pry, <laughs> hey pry. All right, hang on, I'm missing a hand. Well, mm, mm, mm. Oop, see. Ugh. Yeah, here we go. Fist. The, these are grip. These are these these aren't fists. These are grip hands, not triggers. So, you know, good luck getting your hands in the trigger for those. You know, because there's barely any room for that. All right. Um. Cool. Let's arm him if we can with, I guess, other goodies real quick um but before we do that let's see if we can give him his satchel see if his satchel looks sexy on him it would have been better if it was lv <laughs> i'm not scared of gucci. i'm a gucci guy gucci pattern <laughs> all right hang on uh, here we go let's give him some other weapons to play with um but first actually let's give him his um at least based on what i'm reading here this is his uh this is for his arm kind of curious as how i'm going to put it whether it's hmm okay i see this is the correct way. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on. You guys got to be careful with this. Hang on. Pause. Yeah, you got to be careful, guys. Um, I almost pulled this out of here um, because it's not sealed or any. Uh, it's not sealed or anything. It's just. See the um see how the, those hooks are? I almost pulled this whole rubber thing out in my zeal to to put this on. So just be careful. It's it's not yeah, it's 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 kind of weird that way. Ugh. It's I mean you could put it back on, but it's a pain in the buns because it's just so small. You know what I mean? So you know what? Um what I'm going to do to reduce problems is I'm going to take off his doggone hands. His hands can get cut. You know, the grip, <laughs> the trigger finger, you cut on the trigger finger. Then you could carefully put it up here. Now, I, I, I got to admit, uh, I'm not as confident in this material as I am as far as cloth is concerned with all the... Oh, see what I'm saying? You see what I just what just happened there? Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the buns to put to put back on because it's again so small. But it's a minor inconvenience. Still, uh, well, in in the long scheme of things, but still, it's it's an inconvenience nonetheless. Especially since the problem is this doggone um. 
this doggone piece right here he keeps rubbing into this material it's not a good it's not a good thing it's because it's it's kind of like yarnish yeah soft good this is the problem with soft the soft goods folks so you know if you're really about that soft good life yeah see see it's it, it becomes a problem i i you can't just uh yeah i'm gonna pause because again it, this is gonna take forever to do folks and i don't, don't want to bore you folks for your own gosh damn sanity. Please. Please, please, please. Put these things upside down. I promise you, if you try to do it right side up, you will want to destroy this thing. Don't do it. Just trust me on this. Put it upside down. You've been warned. <laughs> I'm just letting you all know. Upside down. I spent like 30 minutes trying to do it the other way. And I promise you, it's going to end poorly with your sanity. So I decided to fight it and just go upside down. Okay, so knife goes into this. We're going to be checking it out together. You know what? It's Mr. Satchel. It's cool, but not right meow. You, you're the last thing to go in. Uh, there you go. Gotta have, have them bow a little bit. Bow. <laughs> bow. Yeah, do not. I repeat, folks, do not try to do this the correct way. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you do it the correct way, kind of like a Call of Cthulhu, dude, you're going to lose sanity points. <laughs> Just say. You're just going to lose it. You're going to lose it. I promise you, you will. <laughs> Don't do it for your own sanity. All right. Um, in the middle of all this, our boy had his weapon go down. I don't know how this thing, I don't know if this was the one that was meant for that. I think this would be the weapon that would probably be, no, not, not really. Uh, maybe, I don't, nope. Nope. Yeah, maybe. Yep. Yeah, no. Nope, nope, yeah. No. Nope. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it'll fit. It's too big of a hand cannon. Yeah. I don't think it was meant for this. I don't know, or maybe it was, and I'm just. <sighs> or is it? It doesn't really tell me. That's the thing. All I know is that it, it, it's there. This is a, the tragedy of this. This is a damn good looking weapon. I like to him, see him carrying this over the others, but unless it's supposed to stick out like this. Oh, oh there you go. I, you know, you know what? It, it fit. I'm sorry, guys. Your boy's just weak. <laughs> so it does. It was meant for that. Yeah. There you go. Give him that. And we'll give him... I don't know. What do you guys want to see? Let's, let's give him his uh, MP... M5 or M4. I'm just going to call it an M4. Probably not. Because it looks like one. Yeah. His hands look like you can probably. I gotta admit, the Mezco booth, if you guys ever go, this is beautiful. There's a bunch of really awesome things up in there. Too bad they had nothing for sale in it. That's the annoying thing. Nothing for sale in it. Yeah. There you go. And let's give him this MP5 or MPK or MP, whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying it confidently like I know what it is. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's it struggles a little bit to put the triggers and trigger fingers in the the the, the weapons. But I don't know how many people will actually really notice unless you really really pay attention. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, let's uh 
you know what? Let's 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 get stuff out of the way so you guys can kind of see all of these goodies, right? Uh, hang on. Put him that way so you guys can see more of him. Just gonna adjust the camera a little bit more. There you go. Um, yeah. Let's look at let's let's not cheat you guys and figure out what these accessories really do belong or you know. Okay, so the blast effects, I'm confident that you could put it in the pew pews. Yeah, it's all there. However way you wanna display it. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, it does make the weapon a little more top heavy. I'll tell you that, or front heavy. So, as you can see, he's gonna fall forward. Uh, and I believe these are the demolitions that's supposed to go in his bag. That would just be my guess. Got Velcro. Uh, take this bad boy out. Put the demolitions in. There you go. Now he's ready to destroy bridges and other structures. Ready to sap, be a sapper. Um, I imagine that this is so you can show detonation. You know? Yeah. Woohoo! So this snake eyes commando style is here. All right, cool. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. Let me take off the blast effects because that's what else. You guys seen this before? If you guys are Mesco people, not. Yeah, I'm not a blast effects guy too much. I don't, you know, it's not. Something I do too much, and here is what he looks like next to the ninja guy. It's almost as if they're like two different characters in general, you know? Uh, what I can do, I'll probably, you know, because the Snake Eyes, the old Snake Eyes didn't have too many um, uh, gun accessories that I thought made sense for him, really. Uh, it would make sense to, to, I guess, hook them up with some of the stuff that we got here, right? Like the, the Mac 10s and the, see if it'll fit his hands. Probably be a pain in the buns to, to get sword snake eyes. Yeah. The good news is it looks like they have the same exact hands. So, yeah. You guys could start hooking them up with whatever. You know, you guys could switch them out, right? Like. We don't want to give him this. You could switch accessor accessories with him. So it's 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 a win either way. Yeah. So this kind of cool. For the accessories alone, it's hella worth it so that you can you, now both snake eyes can be really plussed up if you want it. You know what I mean? Um Yeah. Let's see, hang on. Um so, let's see here. One of the cool things about these weapons, I believe, is uh, should be able to take out the, the, the mags. Should. 
is the operative word. <laughs> Maybe, uh, yeah, there you go. See? Those are the extra mags. So yeah, just based on the accessories alone, it, it's almost worth it just to, 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 to put it together for you know to hook them up with that. Um, again, the only problem too though is uh, this is I imagine in the secondary market it's it's not going to be cheap, guys. You guys are going to have to cough up an extra eighty bucks. But the good news is, two hundred isn't too bad if you think about. Saving money, you know, if you got it on eBay versus now to it for 200, it's I'd say it's fair. You just you, all you're doing is paying for the inconvenience fee of the of the individual that you know went out there to to to, to buy it. And um, yeah, and I gotta tell you, the that the, those lines are no getting into those lines are no fun at all. I was fortunate enough to get into it twice, almost didn't get was able to get it. And, you know, I knew this was an attempt to get Casey Jones and, and failed, you know, so the articulation on these things are pretty good. It's, it's got the difference, obviously, is the, it's got knee pads. Uh, speaking of which, before I picked this up, I, I picked up a bunch of weapons from Millerworks. Once they come in, I'm going to showcase them to you with either these two, uh, because I believe that these what though you know did because he wasn't armed so well i bought millwork so stuff so that he finally gets accessories but that'll be interchangeable and i'm hoping that he finish he finishes those weapons and send them soon because man i'm pretty excited to, to share them with you guys um here's the again i better look at the mask i i think it's really dope um i think he's got a black version of what uh roadblock would look like i think i think that's what they did um except the boots are different but the pants very much like the material that roadblocks is see except it's black see they get the same kind of his his things are a little bit bigger but yeah i'd have to say that this commando snake eyes is easily my second most favorite one except for these gosh dang things right there that just make me so mad um i like the ankle rockers on these things too yeah you can you could definitely pose these things the you know uh this to do a bunch of stuff but be careful because soft goods you you, you gotta be gentle and not you know you don't want them to rip or or overstretch so just you know be be gentle with these and besides for how expensive they are you, you you better treat them gently um well you would expect them to be you know for something as expensive these things to be more hefty but that's that's not the case just uh be more de you know delicate uh final thoughts uh this is not for the casual player this is for the the elite you know the elite players uh the, the you know what i mean unless you just love you're a huge fan of snake eyes cool um but it's not something i would recommend for people who who, who play rough with their stuff you know because mesco is not a that that's not that type kind of you know the, the, this is a more for the experienced figure uh player and poser and stuff you know, uh, I like the way this thing looks. I'm a big fan of Commando Snake Eyes in general. This is, you know, he's, I, th I think I've already overstated this, that Commando Snake Eyes is my favorite version of Snake Eyes in general. Uh, I grew up loving this guy more than, uh, you know, loving the ninja. Because that, to me, kind of took away from Storm Shadow Shine when he, when, when they made Snake Eyes a ninja too. So, yeah. All right, folks. Well, that's all I got for this segment of One Twelve Scale Military Action Figures Takes the Mezco One Twelve GI Joe SDCC Twenty Twenty Four Commando Snake Eyes video.
I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual collector. And for your own sanity, folks, I promise you, you guys need to do it like this. You'll understand why if you guys do this. If <laughs> you, you try to do it the regular way, you're gonna, you guys are gonna want to throw this out of rage. <laughs> Until the next video, folks. Ciao.